Hey everybody, thanks for coming. Uh, it's good to get back on the winning side of things. Uh, I'm proud of the kids. You know, we got down early and fought back and get down again. And you know, we just kept playing, uh, get the lead, and then just just hold on for dear life. Um, and uh, guys just kept showing up, kept competing, um, kept uh, you know just bouncing in guys in and out, and, and just trying to get big outs. And you know, a couple balls didn't go our way. Just you know, the game bounces and and whatnot. But we. we uh, you know, huge home run by McCabe, huge uh, double you know, sack fly by Faroe, then double by Russo, and then uh, the double by Sundin. Just continue to expand the lead, and, and obviously we needed it. So, um, but uh, you know, it was a big, big challenge today. Just trying to find a way to win, win a game in the series, and, and not get swept. So proud of the guys for coming out and, and not giving up. What more can you say about Cole Russo battling back from his injury? And, yeah. You know, yeah, got a couple of hits like. He's a big energy guy, and you know those guys get rewarded when when you care and, and you show up and you, and you bring energy and um, you know, happy for them. And we needed it. A couple of big hits today, and um, you know obviously playing in a position he's not not all too comfortable with, and, and just do whatever he can to help the team win. So uh, it was a big big day for him. How do you evaluate Dom's outing? A little bit better defense, maybe. And yeah, I mean a couple of plays here and there. Obviously, I mean I guess that's the game. You know, Rowe dives for that ball, like you know that we, we wish. You know, it's a tough play. It just it comes out of his glove, you know. So that can change. The, that can change some of the fortunes. And, and then uh, you know, got to catch the ball on the outfield. I thought, thought we thought we just got a little bit scared of the wall, or whatnot. But um, but yeah, I thought I thought Dom threw well. Um, you know, it's a tough tough lineup when you got you know, seven lefties in there. And um, but he battled and, and did did enough. And we just weren't able to get enough outs, you know, behind him for him. But um, you know, had turned over to the bullpen. They did a good job. Coach, what do you think about the uh, defensive positioning? You know, you have Tom playing right field, and you have Russo at second base. How much do you think that affects the defense? If not I don't think so. I mean, I think for the moment, I mean, I mean, the biggest effect may be Russo because he's never really played there or, you know, until a couple weeks or a month ago, whatever, even worked out there at all. Tom has, in practice, plays both just uh, to make sure that he's, he's flexible to be able to do that. So. I don't really think that has anything to do with it, but again, we got we're out here practicing all the time, so it, it comes pretty quickly just to um, you know be able to learn and, and feel comfortable out there and, and know who's out there to, to help. Coach, what would you say the batters did differently today as opposed to the previous two games? Um, well, I mean, I think after the the fourth fourth or fifth inning, we just did a better job of of executing our plan and trying to get stuff elevated and over the middle of the plate and uh, being able to sit on some soft stuff. In some fastball counts, and uh, we took a lot of walks, which put some guys put more pressure. I mean, we just didn't put a lot of pressure on them. First two games, we I don't know how many guys. I don't even think we got to third base. Um, and so, just getting more pressure on them, making those pitchers feel the heat of having to to make pitches with with guys in scoring position. I think just you know allowed them to make some more mistakes, and you know if you do that, then you got a chance to, to do some damage. What was the strategy with the bases loaded and two outs, trying to bunch, trying to catch them off guard? <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, just doing what he can. Doing what he can, try to get the next guy up. That's the, the, the goal is always just get the next guy up, and that's what he was trying to do. What do you think of Kramer's uh, coming yeah. in? I mean, huge. I mean, he's been great for us all year, man. Just a really tough kid, really cares, great, great leader. And, you know, him, him and Rudy, just tremendous guys and tremendous. Tremendous players and just huge for our team. And uh, you know, really didn't want to use them for two innings tonight, but you know, when the game called for it, like it's going to rise to the occasion. That's why I love having him at the back end because I just know I can trust him to go out there and compete like crazy. Did something happen with Cameron when he didn't release that no, I pitch? Because then he didn't look right. Yeah, after he didn't that. look right, and that's why I got him out of there. But um, I, I haven't asked, so I don't. I don't know the answer to that. I was too focused on the next pitch, but um, definitely didn't look right after that. I don't know if it was. Something wrong physically, or just rattled him? I, I have no idea. I have to go ask that question. Do you feel better about your weekend rotation now? Learn something about these three guys? Yeah, I mean, I think we're in a good spot. Um, you know, I think we're in a good spot going forward, and, and put ourselves in a good situation. I feel like, you know, we're, we're carving out roles now, and obviously bringing Vespi back is going to help. And you know, Cam pitched a lot better this week at FAU. Like, so I mean, I, I think we're getting a little deeper and we're back to kind of where we thought we were going to be uh, when the season started. Uh, we still got to get some guys rolling. You know, you know, again, Cam, Cam's been pitching really well for us. Uh, Crane and, and obviously. Whatever happened there, we're not really sure, but um, 
but we, you know we got to get Chase and Najir um, back to where they where that we feel like they should be and where we've seen them. Um, just not just not pitching as well as I, I know that they can. And uh, we just gotta just gotta keep figuring it out and keep working, and uh, that'll give us some more some more depth as well. So, uh, but I feel I feel good where we're at going forward with the rotation, and uh, just gotta keep executing. You see Thad Ward made his yeah, MLB debut last night. Yeah, what did you think about that? Yeah, I was awesome. Pretty happy for him. You know, I've been. Obviously in constant contact with him, but in spring training, kind of was always asking, "How you doing? How's it going?" You know, I talked to him about uh, three days before they broke camp. He, you know, I had seen on Twitter some of the beat writers saying they thought they were, he was going to make the team, but he, he, I texted with him. He said he didn't know yet, and then I texted with him on opening day in the morning uh, when they kind of made it official and, and uh, got a chance to, to text with him. Just let him know how proud I was, and just good to get another guy up there, and uh, happy for him. I, I know. He, Sure, not happy they gave a home run last night, but um, you know, I'm proud of him. I know his mom and dad were there. I talked to them, so it's awesome to see. Coach, what are you looking for from Santana and Victor and move on? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, just um, Chase's stuff is there. We just got to be able to execute better and, and, and be able to throw the ball in the corners. I think fastball getting over the middle of the plate too much, and you know, he's really struggling against left-handers, which really hasn't been his mo in the past. And you know, Najir just getting back to where he was. You know, he was I think got up to 91 today, but the velo's a little down, and um, you know, when his fastball is up there, like it's elite, elite. Um, and so we, we just got to figure out. Uh, how to get him back there and, and those two guys because those are two huge pieces that, that when they're on like it, it changes everything it puts less pressure on the on the on the starters and gives us another uh, couple guys at the back end that have elite stuff so we got to get him back there coach you had Ben McCabe get that game tying home homer in the third but making kind of a new ball game after that and ever since then you were able to get some small ball going with those RBI hits what from tonight today's game and should the batters take with them in terms of playing small ball for the rest of the season you know I, th I think we have um, I think we have panicked a little uh, a little bit in the last couple weeks um, you know I think we had a lot of confidence rolling through the first couple weeks you know and I think that the the, the first couple losses that we endured like we're just kind of like hey man like we just didn't play well the game the game just baseball it's what happened um, and then as the losses started kind of stacking up, the, the series losses started stacking up, we, we started pressing a little bit more and, um, and uh, you know, just kind of forgot who we are, I think. And, and I think today we got back to a little bit of what, what we can do, like the things, the pressure that we can put on people. And when we do that, like just the kind of offense that we can have. And, um, you know, and again, we've made some great strides on the mound and really, you know, put ourselves in a much better situation. So we just got to get back to the confident club, the confident group of guys. And this is, I told the guys after the game, it's the same guys in the dugout that they were a month ago. Like, let's not forget who we are. Let's not forget the things that we're capable of. Let's not forget the talent and the experience um, and, uh, you know, the success that we've had. What's uh, the, let's build off that. So you're fine. What's the, uh, the challenge now? Do we get a tough road this way? Yeah, I mean, come out and just continue to be us like and get back to that confident group and um, and uh, again don't worry about the scoreboard don't worry about the standings just worry about going out there and doing our job and, and believing in each other believing in internally in our in ourselves um, in each individual and as a group um, and just go out there and, and be us um, we really feel comfortable or confident in this group, they all feel confident. They know the things. Um, we, we just can't forget just because we had a, a, a rough stretch here. Just get back to being us, and hopefully today starts that, that process. Do you expect to have John Rice for all four games? Uh, yes. John and Rice should be there all four games. Coach, you're going to your old alma mater, Miami, yeah. this upcoming week. What do you know about them now, and what can you expect them to do? Um, I, mean, I, have a, I mean, I follow them, obviously, just, um, just because I got like, group chat with all my former teammates that, that blows up my phone every every night I think um, but um, you know they're obviously a really good team and a lot of obviously my friends that are that I'm coaching against but um, at the end of the day we just got to go and worry about playing the game and trying to get better get back to us and um, but it'll be a big challenge on the road against a really really good team that I'm sure hopefully swept Florida State this week. Thank you. Coach. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it. Thank you.